Oh, hello everyone. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Johanna. I'm joined by Koz. Yeah, what's up? For another ep- for episode six of Living Under a Rock. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so we appreciate everyone joining in today. Yeah. Hope everyone's having a good day. Yeah, it's going to be pretty exciting. Mm. Got Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie about how it's heading to Netflix. We also have Scarlett Johansson and Chris Evans' Ghosted movie that's going to be on Apple TV. Yeah. That's going to be interesting. And yeah. to top things off, will be like how kids in China have only a three hour limit. On online, online gaming yeah. and stuff so yeah it's going to be good it's going to be interesting yeah, it's going to be pretty exciting anyways um if you have any comments or thoughts let us know in the hey link if you're listening on spotify it should be on our link and yeah. our bio and on youtube it should be there as well yeah and yeah let's just get into it so starting things off uh the texas chainsaw massacre movie is heading straight to streaming so netflix has struck a deal with uh, legendary pictures who you may know from Detective Pikachu, Pacific Rim. Yeah. Uh, they've also done the Enola Holmes with um, Millie Bobby Brown and Henry Cavill. Mm-hmm. They've also done oh, the, the Hangover movies, the Dark Knight movies, I believe, and a range of other um, media. And so they've basically allowed Netflix to have the global rights for the their new installment of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie. Basically the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie. It's become like really influential in the horror film genre yeah. since like Mark since the 1970s when it was actually released. Having the character, you know, Leatherface becoming a widely recognized horror icon on par with like Freddy Krueger and Jason Voorhees. That's um, what we call Friday 13th. Dude. Yeah, 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 the Jason dude. So basically, um, Hollywood Reporter. They know that um, the forthcoming slasher horror film will skip the theaters exclusively on sh- on Netflix. Yeah. Um, but so and yeah, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. So they've like served as a direct sequel to the original one, and which was like again released in the 19, 1974. 1974, yeah. Yeah, to be exact. So it will like basically disregard every film from yeah. like the previous films in its franchise. Um, basically, like so far, there's no um, of a release date, mm. but it's like. But it's been. It'll most likely just come, come out, out though, either the like next year or literally like probably whether the, the way this is going, most likely either like the end of this year. Yeah. I doubt it though. Primarily somewhere it's in the middle or hard. in the beginning of next year. Yeah. Is what I would assume. This year, maybe next year. Yeah, yeah. next year, maybe maybe the year after. Who oh, knows? I doubt it'd be the year after. Yeah. I, I think because um, like they've shot this movie in as well. You know what I mean? So like they've like back in like 2019, 2020. So oh, yeah, they you know, have they've a lot edited of time. it, you know, they'll, they'll have yeah. plenty of time, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm surprised they haven't set a release date yet. It's been two yeah. years. I, it's been had a, it's had a bit of a troubled production, so I think Probably because of I think because of this Netflix deal though, sooner or later it will, we, yeah, they're yeah. gonna have a release date. Because Netflix for us. is really like on board with like getting stuff out there quickly. Yeah. yeah. No, hundred percent, you know yeah. what I mean? And like, look, the production was quite, yeah, again, look, it was quite troubling um, due to legendary firing the directors just one week into shooting. Yeah. So that was pretty funny. I remember reading that like a year ago. Oh, yeah. And also the test screenings were not the greatest to say the least. So I think there are a couple of reasons why Netflix actually like purchased the rights to the film. Like, first of all, COVID. Yeah, Secondly, true. if it is crap, like what we've been hearing, you know, from the firing of the directors, you know, like they were saying the first week or what they shot was just unwatchable. Yeah. Test screenings were bad, like really, really bad. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. So yeah, with that, like Netflix, they could help out. With the- yeah. I mean, the thing is, like with Netflix, if they put onto Netflix, there's more of a chance that Legendary will make a profit. Because the thing is, is that Legendary Pictures, they may know, they may know, they may not want to put the amount of money. You know what I mean? For the marketing and all that type of stuff. Just for it to go to waste. Yeah. Just for it to go, like for Tank. Like, just so the movie could tank at the box office True. and be tortured by critics. Yeah, yeah, now, yeah. look, again, in a time like this, no production company would want to lose a great deal of money, you know what I mean? Because it, it could be a big risk, you know? Now, yeah. look, nothing I've just said in the past minute or so, it, it, it's not like official, nothing, right? Yeah, no yeah, one said it, you know? It's just what I think's happened. Oh, yeah. So just take it with a, you know, a grain of salt, I guess, you know? For all I know, you know, this film could be one of the greatest horror movies like yeah, ever yeah, made like in the part this... in like the, you know, 20th century or whatever. True. 21st century. So, you know, just take it with a grain of salt and I guess we'll just have to wait till... Doc, if we show like news about it. Yeah, because at this point, it's just, it's been kept under, you know, kept under underway, you know, yeah, it's been quite private. But it is kind of Netflix style though. 
like what to do you keep, mean it's kind of like a ne- the netflix thing to like keep them pri- keep them h- hidden until like few months before they're released where they actually give you a release date true i mean yeah. that does actually like happen a bit yeah um, it happens quite a lot with their netflix stuff you know yeah yeah netflix always like but also that. just in general i guess yeah but netflix like they know how to create a hype around that you think yeah i mean it is like pretty good style like marketing so that the closer it is like to be i've i've heard that their marketing is quite mixed you know that a lot of people like it but then a lot of people hate it yeah yeah because like it is it does kind of like take it does kind of like take away the suspense but it does bring it back up in what do you mean by that so basically they don't they don't um make that you know trailers and that early early on in the year if it's going to be released late in the year so that people like don't lose hype about it the closer it is the closer everything is to yeah yeah that's actually quite true they do that especially with their tv shows as well exactly the tv shows they're the most yeah yeah. and then they just put it like all out so you can just binge it instead of it being weekly yeah you know what i mean and that's just one other thing it's like with it being all just there right yeah it's just like everyone's gonna watch it in like a week and it's just gonna disappear you know what i mean i see but if it's like weekly people are still gonna talk about it for a longer period of time you know that hype is still building up instead of it just being like a snap of the fingers you know what i mean yeah which is yeah it is how it is why like netflix is really good like like no one skips a deal with netflix when it comes to that stuff because they know the demographic they know how it goes they have like all this I mean, yeah, they have, like, all the data on that stuff. Mm, Thank you. Yeah, know, probably. Yeah. They know what they're doing. Speaking of streaming, though, man, it's, yeah, like, another other another movies. one that's kind of building their way is Apple TV. And yeah, it's just been announced that, what do you call it, the Marvel superhero stars Scarlett Johansson and Chris Evans yeah. are going to be in Dexter Fletcher's upcoming, uh, what do you call it? Ghosted. Spy man. film. I think it's a spy romance film called Ghosted, Ghosted yeah. on Apple TV. So, yeah. Yeah, so um, it's going to be like a romantic, but also like action and adventure. Mm. It's um, probably like a Mr. and Mrs. Smith type movie. Obviously. Exactly, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty, well, that one's a pretty good movie, actually. Oh, you've watched it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's good. Real fun, real fun. So, yeah. Dexter Fletcher, right, the director. Oh, he, he, um, fil- he, he directed, uh, directed. He directed Rocket Man, and he also like finished Bohemian Rhapsody because... The director of that, Brian Sink Singer. Didn't he? Didn't something happen to him? Yeah, because he directed. He directed some of the X Men movies, and um, yeah, I think yeah, that's something I happened it. where it was like um, like a, oh, I don't forgot it was like a sexual. Um, I think he got into like legal or something trouble. like that. Yeah, it was something about that, and um, so then Dexter Fletcher came on and just kind of finished it off for him. Yeah, yeah, and and it's still like people like you can tell the di- you couldn't like tell the difference. It was pretty like yeah, yeah, because I similar. you know what I'm not. I don't know too much about that whole, you know, what, yeah, what yeah, that situation. Yeah, but yeah. I would assume they probably had quite a lot of it done. True. When you know he got fired from 20th Century Fox, you know what I mean. I don't yeah. think it's one of those situations where it's like a um, a Zack Snyder Warner Brothers Justice League issue. Yeah. Where it's like he shot probably like 70 percent of it, but they get Joss Whedon or something like that, yeah. and they just redo the whole thing. I doubt that would be the case. You know what I mean? True. But hey, it won an Oscar for Best Actor. Yeah, so you know, it's pretty got good. nominated, so why the hell, you know, I think it's yeah. a thumbs up. I hate the movie, though. It's a crap movie. I, I mean, the script is all right. The script is all right. And speaking of scripts, um, so yeah, the Ghosted movie, the script, yeah, the script is going to be like wrote, uh, wrote by yeah. Paul Warnick and Ray Therese. Ray Therese, Ray Therese, yeah. Therese yeah. They wrote Deadpool. And they wrote Deadpool, yeah, 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 I know that, yeah. Yeah, it's going to be pretty good because Deadpool's actually a pretty good movie. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I love yeah, Deadpool. Yeah, it's an action movie. The and second this one was, yeah, well. but the first one was really good. Yeah. I also love Zombieland. That movie grew up with it also, so good. Yeah. They also did, I think, G.I. Joe, but that's one of their, like, we just remember yeah. talking about that stuff, but that was an enjoyable movie. Yeah, and Paul, Paul and... Rhett Reese, they're like they're they're different genre that um script writers like from what I know, mm-hmm. and you know the whole the Ghosted movie it is action and romantic adventure at the same time. Yeah. So yeah, I think I think that whole mix to bring all of those genres in is it's actually pretty nice. good. Yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, how they I think I think they're gonna be nice for just some of the humor as well. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah so. Basically, the stars of the film, Scarlett Johansson and Chris Evans. Yeah, they're like negotiations with the Apple TV about it. Yeah. Yeah, about the whole thing, like being in it. Because like, they don't want to be tied up. What do you mean by tied up? Like, they, they don't want to be like tied up with like Apple. They like, because like they're more Do like multiple films with Apple TV? You mean like that? 
I think. Or do you mean like the scam? Because you know, Scarlett Johansson. Yeah. Is suing Disney for Black Widow being on Disney Plus. Do you mean something like like? Yeah, yeah. I mean, she has a. History. That wouldn't make actually sense. That wouldn't make much sense because Apple TV is primarily it's just streaming so they know what they're getting into you know what i mean true 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 but also like um disney is a streaming service as well yeah but it's like they do what do you call it on like theater stuff as well like I they're see. primarily they do their movies on the theater yeah so and i think from what i've been hearing it was uh it was just mainly due to the pandemic as well and in that decision it was a late decision at the time to just put to it just on Disney out, Plus, yeah. Yeah. you know what I mean. So it, I feel like they're two quite different things. Because yeah, Apple puts it, you know, um, a limited screening of it. I see, I but see. it's not going to be something mainstream. It's yeah. always going to be on Apple TV Plus, or not, not Plus, just Apple TV. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's a bit of a different story when it comes to Apple with their streaming service and Disney their streaming service. You know, just because Disney has been doing theatrical stuff True. for like a hundred years Decades, and stuff. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, but um, but I could still change her mind. I mean, it is like she has been through a lot of like trust issues I know in the past. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. With like relationships and that. Oh, you know, she actually married Ryan Reynolds. Yeah, I know. Yeah. But didn't they get divorced? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. See, yeah, yeah. like, she has quite a history of trust issues, which is why I think I personally think like this this whole deal with Apple TV yeah. is gonna be like mixed, because like like you said, yeah, like Apple TV. They're just a streaming service, but like again, she, she you don't know what like she's gonna do, like how she's thinking of it. You think that? Yeah. yeah. I guess we we'll have to wait and see what happens. You know what I mean? Yeah, but I mean, Apple TV is really getting out there, honestly. It is a bit. You could start competing. It's like I feel like some of the because I know they did like a Snoopy show, like yeah. the Peanuts, uh, but it's like. You know, I don't really pay too much attention to that. They got the new season of C with Jason Momoa coming oh, out. Yeah? So that's something. It's just, honestly, it's like... Uh, they do have a lot of exclusive they, stuff. They like, do have a lot. They have like a lot, but... Cherry. I think it's like more like adult orientated. Mm-hmm. Like, they have... It seems like more of their original stuff. They might have couple kid stuff, but it seems to be more... more what do you call it? More adult. Adult stuff, like... Like, they're not like Netflix where they have every Variety, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Apple TV, it's, like, kind of stuck there, but it's not, like, completely, like... Uh, what's Cherry? I think... But also, I feel like maybe what they're doing is more yeah. of, like, a quality over quantity type of thing. Mm-hmm. Just because, you know, when The Irishman and Marriage Story came out with Netflix, yeah. they were saying we're going to be a bit more specific and whatnot for our directors and the films we make. We want yeah. them to be better. We don't want them to be crap. You know yeah. what I mean? So, but Apple, on the other hand, you know, they've been pulling out content, but most of it has been pretty, um, what do you call it? Well received. You know yeah, what I mean? True. And it's because they're sticking to this like one genre, which is like you think? drama. It's not like drama isn't like, it's more like drama isn't serious drama. Like, you know? Yeah. They got the morning like show. crime drama. Well. Yeah. Yeah. Steve Carell and Jennifer Aniston and but then he was like this like this is all just from us yeah yeah I mean honestly take the grain yeah take out the grain of salt you don't know what yeah we don't know what Scar- Scarlett Johansson is like thinking yeah kind of like she wants to sign this nor, nor do we know anything about what Chris Evans is like doing much about it I think it's just gonna go smoothly yeah because they know what they're gonna get into yeah you know Apple, what I mean it's not like they're gonna like stick you know do a finger of course. You know course. what I mean? Yeah. So to get to be a bit laid back, you know, yeah. speaking about like new stuff that's happening. So uh, kids in China, there's been like new laws out there. Their hours of gaming time, yeah. online gaming time has been restricted to three hours. Dude. Which is like That's kinda nuts, man. Yeah, yeah, I see what it's they mean. China, who knows what to expect from them? Like, if if you don't if you don't know what to expect from Scarlett yeah. Johansson, dude, exactly. Look at China. Yeah, you don't know like like gaming companies. They have to put restrictions on their yeah. game times, and basically this three hour limit. Although it is like three hours, it's restricted to one hour for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Damn. Only eight, eight and nine p.m., which is like most kids sleep at that time. I know. Yeah, so it's it's pretty it's pretty hard. Oh wait, no, it's children under the age of eighteen. Yeah, so anyone right. under eighteen though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Still uh, though, it's just like let them live their life. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean it's it's a quite dramatic change from the previous, you know. But one and a half per day. The question is, is like just 
it's just why I mean it says just to help combat the addiction you know what I mean which there isn't much of an addiction I mean China has like the highest education you know really. I guess with that is I mean look, they just want to keep it up um, I guess so yeah. I mean they could just be worried and stuff yeah but like Who going knows? from one and a half hours per day to three hours per weekend well I mean I see where they're coming on there so yeah it's like China's working with the gaming companies yeah to make a verification system Oh, okay. Like about this, so it won't be like chi- it won't be like government controlled, but again, the government is like re- restricting the companies who make the games about it to like have a name and age verification check to see if they're over eighteen and if they are, like they can play as freely as they want. Yeah. But I think like up to up to like seventeen. Oh, That's quite a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like three hours. And the, the rules are to issues today come a month after an article published by the state media described online gaming as a spiritual opium. Although the phrase was later removed, the tone of the article, especially the hindsight, left little doubt that state the invention that was inevitable. Like, oh. dude, it's just like, guess I. Well, I guess yeah, we can see where, they come where they're from. coming from, yeah, but yeah. it's just like, dude, just relax. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. What's the rush? But um, so yeah. Also, like to be more crazy, schools are actually also getting involved in this oh, God. to make sure like the kids are doing everything right, which is Dude. really stupid. I had so. that. Even like you, they can't even fly to places. Yeah. Like the, like it literally like you know they can't fly around the world. Not even you know. I mean this. I think I don't know if this is because of COVID or just in general. Right? Who knows, who knows. Yeah. But if that's like true, it's just like, it's just weird. what are they doing over there, man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it is like quite different to like other countries, honestly. Like, you've never, you've never heard any other country who does that. Yeah. Gaming limit. I've never heard of it. Like, there could be a lot, there could be a lot like Korea and that. Because they also have that Google thing where like Google's banned or something like that. Yeah, Google's yeah. banned. They have like some proprietary. Their regulations and stuff. Yeah, the proprietary rules about. search engine. So yeah, look, they'll just wrap it up, you know. So guys, look, tell us what you think about the new Apple Plus, Apple Plus, Apple TV, Apple sorry, TV, yeah. movie with Scarlett Johansson, Chris Evans, directed by or going to be directed by Dexter Fletcher. Tell yeah. us about what you think about these rules in China because they're kind of crazy, and yeah. also um, the production behind the Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie and your thoughts on it heading to Netflix. Yeah, so, you can let us know in the comments of yeah. our YouTube channel. And also the hailing page the hailing as well, page, you know. Yeah. And even just tell us what you want us to talk about and how to improve this podcast because we yeah, appreciate it new. quite a bit. So, yeah. Yeah, thank, um, yeah. So thank, you, thank you for tuning in again. Um, yeah, make sure you follow us on, like, YouTube. Yeah, follow, subscribe Just on YouTube. Just in general, man. Make yeah, sure to Spotify. On whatever platforms are available to suit you. So, um, yeah, look, I guess I'll wrap it up and we'll see you guys in the next one. Yeah, see, see ya. Yeah.